So, I want to show you guys my meal. <laughs> Just throw it in your face. Okay. This is bomb.com. Like, I don't even know how to explain to you. Carrots. They taste like fresh carrots. Sauteed in this. This yummy deliciousness that I can't explain, but ooh, it tastes so good. Ooh, it tastes so good. It's an explosion in my mouth. Ooh, it tastes so good. This food get is good. <laughs> Let me bite the green bean. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Green, I'm just being man, this green bean. It's good, it's bing bing good. How good it is, it's just delicious. And I feel like Thai food is just the best. Cause I like beautiful food. I like food that just like, is nourishing to your body and fun to eat. Like there's so many colors in here. Like I feel like I'm eating a treat. I'm loving this station. For those of you that want to vibe out, that is Jazz Groove. And it really puts you in the mood, you know? It really put you in the mood, you know. Oh. It really put you in the mood, you know, you know, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Really put you in the mood, you know. Make your, make your lyrics flow. It really put you in the mood, you know. You know, oh, I really put you in the mood, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, say, you know, say you, I really put you in the mood, you know. And the food's good. Okay, this is why I just love being home by myself. It's terrible, but it's not terrible. I need to get like comfortable being like this all the time. I feel like this is like why I want my own place. But I mean. Okay, it's cause like, hold on. This food's just so good. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes you could do things even when people aren't here, but sometimes you fear what they may think of you. And You cannot fear what you think they might think of you. Because you let that be what you think of you. 
And you just can't let that No, no, no You can't let that be true Nope Nope Nope, nope Okay, so I have this book I just really started reading passages from it But it's like It's like It's called The Language of Letting Go It looks like this and they have really nice stuff in this book, so I really recommend reading the book. I'm just really getting into it, so I'm like, I can't be like, oh yeah, but I think this book is really good. I really do. And for today, it says, I'm going to read it to you. Overcome not by force, overcome not by surrender. The battle is fought and won. We do not move forward by resisting what we is undesirable. We must go through it and until we learn, today. until we accept. We move forward, until we, we become grow, great, we change by until we are set free. Avoidance is not the key. Today, I will Surrender open. opens the doors. Today, I listen to this open. truth. To the lessons of my present We are each in our present circumstances for a good reason. I do reason. not have to label. There is a lesson, no, understand a valuable learning. lesson. I will see that clearly in time before we can today, move forward. Trust and gratitude Something important is being worked out in us and in those around okay. us. Oh, it's backwards. This is amazing. <laughs> I feel like that's what I was trying to say. Like, I could, like, do this in front of people, but I think it starts with accepting yourself. So we really do. I know I ain't the only one. That's why I'm saying we because I know you and me both do it. And I'm just like trying to pull through it and just be the best me at all times because I'm learning. I'm growing. And there's things that I need to work through. And I got to accept the things I got to work through. I got to work through what I got to work through because I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do to make what I believe is the truest me true. You know, like, we know what to do. This is looking mighty good over here. But we know what to do, like. This one's a kind of crazy one. I just can't this is and it was so funny because on the phone I was like I need something flavorful <laughs> I was so serious though because like I love Thai food and sometimes I've been to like Thai food places where sometimes the flavor isn't good so I wanted to figure out like what type of flavor was in it so <laughs> I was like is it like the garlic sauce? Is it oyster sauce? Like, what does the flavor taste like? She's like, ma'am, there's too much stuff in it to explain to you what the taste. She was like, I was like, is it flavorful? She was like, yes, <laughs> it has lots of flavor. And I was like, okay, that'll be the one. So I forgot what I got the first time, but. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, like, how you think a green bean should taste, it tastes like. And I know that's so simple. It's so crazy because this is so simple. But our foods, man, our foods, they're being contaminated. And sometimes vegetables don't taste how they're supposed to taste. So I do not sound crazy. Like, the things that have came natural to us, we are being charged for. And maybe that's like a hippie statement or something. But it's so real. Because I understand it's because some people are working to do that. But it mind boggles me because I'm like, organic food? Like seriously, that's supposed to be a privilege. Like why does it even have chemicals in it in the first place? And I know why it does because again, people grow this food so they wanted to find an easier way to grow the food. They were like, man, like what's gonna help us sell quick food? Like how can we progress in our field, our fields, you know? So then some scientists came around and they were like, Look, if you put this on your food, the bugs will not get to them, which means you're gonna have more nice looking food and you're gonna be able to grow more and sell more and have more money. So then the farmers were like, okay, let's do this. And then they didn't know it contaminated their food. Then fast forward now, they know that it's bad, 
but some people are still greedy because putting chemicals on food makes it makes you be able to have more food you know what i'm trying to say you know like after it's like they're gaining so it's it's really greedy people doing this but it's happening right now and i don't believe god put us on this earth without enough food for everybody like somebody's being greedy somebody don't want to share and it's like yes i understand some people don't even want to work some people don't want to some people can't work so there's a lot of circumstances going around but i feel like if something is just like bad for you if they know it's bad for you then why don't people try to do things that are going to be good for us like if we all came together helped the issue kept going like do you know how fast we would progress like i just don't understand and i understand too because i've been in the place where i've been greedy or i've been like the world but in order to change the world you got to change yourself and man, that's why Michael Jackson is tight. Cause he know. He really know. I feel like this is how God like wants you to eat your food. Where it's just like cabbage. Purple cabbage. Like it's simple but not really. Like who just cuts up purple cabbage and puts it in their meals. Like maybe other people, maybe they do this all the time, but like, I don't sometimes. <laughs>